A brief history of sushi and why it's so popular today. Hello and welcome to Crazy Food History, where we explore the world of food and drink. No matter what you drink with it, a glass of sake, a cocktail, a glass of wine, or anything else, sushi offers a unique and flavorful way to eat. The cold, firm fish, rice, sauce, and other ingredients make it a unique and delicious dish. In the last century or so, sushi has quickly become one of the most popular dishes around the world. You can find sushi restaurants all over the world, but especially in the United States, where there are more than 4,000 sushi restaurants. But where did this tasty dish come from, and how did it become so popular in America? Who's to blame for sushi's popularity? Let's find out in today's video. Sushi is a Japanese dish that has gained immense popularity worldwide. It's a culinary art form that combines vinegared rice, known as shari, with a variety of ingredients such as raw or cooked seafood, vegetables, and sometimes tropical fruits. The combination of flavors, textures, and colors in sushi creates a unique dining experience. There are several types of sushi that have evolved over time. Nigiri sushi is perhaps the most recognizable form, consisting of a small mound of rice topped with a slice of fresh seafood or other ingredients. Maki sushi, also known as sushi rolls, involves wrapping the rice and fillings in a sheet of seaweed called nori. Tamaki sushi is similar to maki sushi but is hand rolled into a cone shape. Other types include Chirashi Sushi, which features a bowl of sushi rice topped with various ingredients, and Oshi Sushi, where rice and toppings are pressed into a rectangular mold. The origins of sushi can be traced back to ancient Japan, where it originated as a preservation technique. In the 8th century, people in Southeast Asia discovered that fermenting fish with rice helped preserve the fish during the process. And this method was brought further to Japan and further developed. In the Miramachi period, the 14th to 16th century, sushi began to take the form we recognize today. At that time, sushi was still consumed as a preservation method, with the rice being discarded and only the fish consumed. The development of vinegared rice during the Edo period, from a 17th to 19th century, revolutionized sushi. The rice was now flavored with vinegar, salt, and sugar, giving it a pleasant tanginess and acting as a preservative. Sushi gained popularity among the working class in Edo, now Tokyo, due to its affordability and convenience. Street vendors and sushi stalls emerged, serving sushi to hungry locals. Skilled sushi chefs honed their techniques and craftsmanship, elevating sushi from a practical food to a delicacy. Naritsushi, a form of preserved fish, is considered the precursor to modern sushi. This ancient style of sushi was enjoyed in Japan for centuries before the sushi we know today emerged. Naritsuchi involves fermenting fish with rice and salt for an extended period, sometimes up to several years. The fermentation process resulted in a pungent and strong flavored fish, which was highly valued for its umami taste. Naritsuchi was typically consumed as a snack or served as a topping for rice. The development of sushi was also influenced by Chinese and Southeast Asian cuisines. During the 7th and 8th centuries, trade between Japan and China flourished and, along with it, the exchange of culinary techniques and ingredients. The Japanese adopted Chinese methods of pickling fish, which contributed to the preservation methods are used in early sushi. Additionally, the influence of Southeast Asian cuisines, particularly from the countries around the South China Sea, played a significant role in shaping sushi. The use of rice as a staple food, the incorporation of raw fish in dishes, and the practice of wrapping food in leaves or seaweed were all elements that made their way into the development of sushi. The combination of preservation techniques, the influence of Chinese and Southeast Asian cuisines, and the gradual evolution of Naritsushi set the foundation for the future innovations in sushi. As time went on, sushi continued to evolve, incorporating new ingredients, flavors, and techniques, eventually leading to the emergence of the sushi we enjoy today. Sushi made its initial foray into the United States in the mid-20th century. Following World War II, increased international travel and cultural exchange led to American servicemen stationed in Japan discovering and developing a taste for sushi. As they returned home, they brought their newfound appreciation for this Japanese delicacy with them. Sushi was initially embraced by Japanese communities in cities like Los Angeles and San Francisco, where small sushi bars catered to the local Japanese population. During the late 20th century, sushi gradually gained popularity among non-Japanese audiences in the Western world. 
In the 1970s and 1980s, sushi began to emerge as a trendy and exotic food choice, appealing to adventurous eaters and those seeking healthier options. The aesthetic presentation, freshness of ingredients, and emphasis on minimalistic flavors resonated with Western palates. The proliferation of Japanese restaurants and sushi bars outside of Japan further contributed to sushi's rise in popularity. Sushi chefs, both Japanese and non-Japanese, introduced innovative twists such as incorporating local ingredients and adapting sushi to regional tastes. This culinary fusion expanded the appeal of sushi beyond traditional boundaries. The globalization of sushi was further propelled by the advent of sushi chains and fusion cuisine. In the late 20th and early 21st centuries, sushi chains began to emerge, offering affordable and standardized sushi to a wider audience. These chains streamlined the sushi-making process and introduced conveyor belt sushi, where plates of sushi rotate on a conveyor belt, allowing customers to select their desired dishes. Sushi offers several nutritional benefits that have contributed to its popularity as a healthy food choice. Firstly, it is rich in omega-3 fatty acids, which are beneficial for heart health and brain function. Fish varieties commonly used in sushi such as salmon, tuna, and mackerel are excellent sources of these essential fatty acids. Additionally, sushi often incorporates nutrient-dense ingredients like seaweed, which provides vitamins, minerals, and fiber. Furthermore, sushi is generally low in calories and fat compared to many other cuisines. The portion sizes are typically moderate, and the focus on lean proteins and fresh vegetables provides a well-rounded and balanced meal. However, it's important to note that certain sushi options, such as those with deep-fried ingredients or excessive mayonnaise-based sauces, can be higher in calories and should be consumed in moderation. One of the captivating aspects of sushi is its visual appeal and artistic presentation. Skilled sushi chefs meticulously craft each piece, considering color, texture, and arrangement. The vibrant colors of fresh fish, the contrasting hues of vegetables, and the delicate placement of garnishes contribute to the aesthetic beauty of sushi. Sushi is often arranged on a plate or sushi platter in an appealing and harmonious manner, enhancing the overall dining experience. The artistry extends beyond the visual aspect to the precise technique and skill involved in sushi preparation. Sushi chefs undergo years of training to master knife skills, rice preparation, and ingredient selection. The delicate balance of flavors, the perfect ratio of rice to topping, and the seamless integration of various ingredients exemplify the craftsmanship and dedication of sushi chefs. The cultural appeal of sushi extends beyond its taste and presentation. It encompasses the rituals and etiquette associated with its consumption. From the proper way to hold chopsticks to the correct use of soy sauce and wasabi, there's a sense of reverence and tradition when enjoying sushi. The health benefits, aesthetic appeal, and cultural significance of sushi have collectively contributed to its enduring popularity and global appeal. As a result, sushi continues to captivate the taste buds and spark curiosity about Japanese food culture among people of various backgrounds. We hope you enjoyed this brief exploration of sushi's history and popularity. If you want to learn more about the world's fascinating cuisines, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to stay updated. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.